Hello everybody, this is Mike DiMatteo with Mike's Gig. I'm at the 2022 NAMM show talking to Preston Whiting of Black Lion. Yes. And when did you start doing uh, products from the ground up? I, I know you did. You started off doing mods, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, as part of our modifications, um, we upgrade the internal clocks in a lot of units. Um, due to space constraints, some units can't have an, a new internal clock installed. So the first product that we brought out was uh, an external clock. So the units that we modified that weren't able to get the clock upgrade, we had an external solution that could connect via VNC, I mean BNC, uh, to get you uh, the full modification basically. So that was an easy one, um, kind of a no-brainer to, to make that clock available to the market as a whole. All right, and you have, uh, now you have mic preamps, you have uh, uh, interface units. Uh, let's talk about your new interface. Cool, yeah, so uh, all of our product line is based on our modifications and the heritage of you know looking at uh, so many circuits and sort of figuring out what we'd like to see improved. Um, and we've been doing modifications for 15 years and we've wanted to do an interface for a long time. Um, the, you know, the issue with being a modification company and souping these products up, we had to come out with a heck of an interface for, for our offering. Um, it took a long time, uh, a lot of R&D behind it, but we're very proud of what we came up with, which is the Revolution 2x2. Uh, this interface was built from the ground up the way that we would like to see it. It's basically an interface with a mod straight out of the box. Um, all of our decoupling techniques and component choices went into this device. Uh, it is a two input, two output device uh, powered by USB. Um, it does have a spit of uh, input and output. Uh, this input select here toggles uh, the analog inputs out and activates the spit of output. Um, you got a headphone output with a mix knob for zero latency tracking uh, in the two outputs and it's just it's sonically excellent this device competes with dedicated mastering converters from a sonic x aspect and it's built like a tank the feel is is wonderful yeah i've uh, actually been working with your your new auteur preamp yes and one thing that really impressed me about the unit beyond the sound was how it's built. I've never seen a unit with so many screws holding on different areas and heavy metal. It's not a, a cheaply made unit. Yeah, that, that's something that we've developed over the years. Um, when our, our company first started, it was all about the internals and the sonic integrity of the devices. And honestly, our aesthetics were lacking in the beginning. So. Uh, now that we've really honed our process of the internals, we've really focused on uh, upping the build quality on all of our products across the line, um, and it's been a great success. It's, we've had a lot of great responses from it, um, even from the product packaging that we that we offer. Uh, you know, we, we put a lot of work into that. We put a lot of work into the build quality, and the sound integrity remains yeah, stellar I, I, as always. I have to add on to that uh, product packaging. Mm -hmm. The, the first thing you get impressed with when you receive the unit in the UPS or whatever is the box it comes in. The, the, yeah. the exterior box is beautiful, but then you open it up and it's got so much protection inside. It's yeah. like, I, I imagine you, you hardly have any that end up broken when they're shipped. Right, yeah, yeah. It has very robust protection. Uh, it's something that we're proud of to uh, increase the aesthetics of the units. Like I said, um, we're musicians at heart. We built these tools uh, because we desire to have them. So the the way it sounded was always what was most important. Um, but as we grew and our resources uh, grew as well, you know, we, we started to really pay attention to the way our products look and the way that they're packaged. And we're really uh, excelling at that and now. What what do you see as the future of Black Lion? Uh, the future of Black Lion is continuing to develop interfaces uh, and um, preamps, compressors. Uh, really sticking to the hardware, uh, hardware lane, and, and just trying to innovate in that field. 